about what you expect, a little trash, a little treasure. This is part two video. We'll show loading these old cars out of the woods. For everybody that saw the part one video, I do have a correction to make on there. I listed that as being in Miami, Oklahoma, and it was actually Venita. And unfortunately, once that's in the video, it is not something that can be edited. It's part of the canon, so it's there to stay. So I will make that correction. And we're gonna see what these guys load out of the woods. We'll load my vehicles. And that one old station wagon's pretty hoarded out in the inside. And I think it's actually some good stuff. It's not just trash in there. So I'm pretty excited to peel that thing open and see what we can find inside of it. I'm not sure what the destination will be for this 59 Cadillac. Could be a project, could be a parts car. I do know of all the 59 body styles, this flat top four door is one of the actually the more desirable ones. by the Zenith Space Command television set. It's got a cool, funky, mid-century vibe to it. Probably just be an art piece. Unfortunately, the guy that helped me set that in there, we cracked the picture tube. We didn't realize it was sticking out the back. So, probably wouldn't have used that for it anyway. I would have either done Maybe like a little scene inside of there, or a fish tank or something like that. Then out here, got these two cool old bicycle frames. I mean, they're pretty shot. They're either parts or yard art. The one there's got the Goodyear head badge. Be kind of a fun little restoration project. And then this is the Firestone super cruiser head badge that one's got the springer fork and the deluxe motorcycle style fender that thing was a cat's meow for any kid riding around in it but it's not much more than memories now got these 50s wheel rims they seem to be something people are always looking for Somebody's either got mismatched stuff or bad lug holes or rusty beads because they've had tires left on them. And so back at the shop there, I've got pallets of wheel rims and I'll just sit and make sets. So always like finding them. The donut, it's a good roller spare. All my stuff has to roll and steer because I don't have a forklift or a tractor by design. I just don't want to do the maintenance on one. So 
everything I have rolls and steers and it's just easier that way. 60s Ford truck tailgate. I think this is like 64 to 72. They changed two generations of trucks, but not the gate. Neat old riveted tank. It's galvanized too. People kind of collect that stuff. Market for those is kind of up and down, but I just picked it up because it was available. We never did do a what's it corner, so this will be the what's it corner. This is like a folding truck bumper. I don't know why you'd need to have it fold, but they did. Got these little Venetian blind slats. These are actually a commercial household, whatever you call it but they also were a aftermarket accessory for old cars that go in the back window see some of the lowrider guys have them in their 64 impalas and i find them sometimes with the ends broke off or they're bent up and these are all in good shape so they'll be just parts to fix a window shade if i find one that's got some bad slats in it few cans to cut into junk lanterns they had a lot of nice painted ones out here that had been stored in the shed but not a lot of surface rusty ones but i did find four anyway this old cart i'll put in the shop i'll put a transmission on it keep it up off the floor out of the way and then i can set something up top of it stay a little more organized this old case got a super cool rustic look to it. I really like that dark aged yellow on there and the leather handle. Inside it's loaded full of everything, just parts, widgets, this and that. Got the boom box. Look on eBay, the search term for these is ghetto blaster and they bring kind of silly money depending on the brand I don't think everybody's beating down the door to have a Lloyd's but it's got a cool look to it and nobody else out here bid on it so I jumped for five bucks take a chance why not over here we've got these half truck running boards probably the junkiest piece that i got but the piece i'm most excited to find because i have a truck that those are correct to and i'll probably stitch them back together actually had a friend of mine that's a photographer out in colorado buy that truck and so these are going to be put on there at delivery and then that truck will be a little more complete for pictures for him so Jonathan if you're watching super excited to find these I promised I'd complete that truck for you and I was sweating that last running board because I had everything else together but found them yes got this old truck wheel ring for a split rim I like to find these that are the single piece like that because I'm going to take them and find matching pairs and then build curb signs with them. These old tire weights, super cool. There's like old brands in there like Allstate, that was Sears. I mean, there's some Goodyear's, some Firestone, Goodrich branded tire weights. So. I just like looking through these kind of a dumb thing to collect I guess but nobody else anywhere else was collecting them that I knew of so I just decided to I got the toastiest sign on the whole auction Pennzoil I don't think there's any there's a little bit of lettering left on that but that's it it was five bucks why not then while we're on the sign track, I got this piece. That is actually off of the back bumper of a Sinclair fuel truck. 
So I'll throw a little evaporust on there and it just shocks and amazes me every time I use evaporust. Like that white paint will just come back bright. So good wall hanger. The signs brought silly money. I really, really wanted that Fisk sign because it's embossed and it would have made a really cool restoration video. The kid that's on there, I could have even painted him, made it look super cool, but I bid that silly thing to $160 and just let the guy have it because even restored, 10 sign, not a porcelain one, it's not a huge money sign. So, oh well. Man, these little pieces here, the galvanized runners and that corrugated drain pipe, I'm gonna make a, some sort of sign out of those, probably put a panel inside of it. There's the old provincial Coca-Cola signs that kind of have that look, and so I'll replicate something of that style. I like painting signs, I've done stencils for them, and it was just fun to go work on that. A couple winters did that as a project. Last of all, in the bed here, we've got a bunch of 70 Impala parts, inner fenders, core support, front fender. All of that stuff will never be reproduced, so what's used and what's around is what we've got. Wish I could have bid on the car, but it's just too far from home. You know, my, my goal was to do one trip back, and if that car had been the very last one on the auction, I might have settled for it, but I was kind of waiting for the ones further down the line and ended up buying the Gray Caprice and ended up buying the Plymouth station wagon there in the woods so those will be kind of fun out of the woods video for joe and i to do when we come back got the ford truck for him he was over at another sale today bidding for me so i kind of came here and bid for him because what else are friends for but to <laughs> enable your habits and addictions especially old junk Get a piece of. Just be real, be real careful with it. We get a piece of tape and tape it. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Get a piece of tape and tape it up to the. Oh, you flung my emblem. It pulled it off the head there. Come get the 360 emblem. I do not have to wait. Okay. FYI. This was this was done here, wasn't yes. it? Yes. This car, that was the most irritating part of the whole deal. This car had perfect body. I mean like perfect, perfect. I have that brown parts car that has, I think it's a little bit wider side trim. Yeah. I like these old wagons. Yep. I think an old timer body guy could save that door. Okay. Just hold it right there. Very good. Is it on? It's on. Yep. Just leave it, okay? Now you're just holding it, okay? You don't okay. need to press any button. Okay, you gotta only, only touch the rubber, don't touch the screen, alright? Okay.
Yep. Nineteen seventy Chevrolet Impaler. On autopilot.
You can't what? It's uh, one of our neater loads. It is. Long bed, big back window, 58? Eight, I think. How rusty is it? I mean, it's rusty around the drip rails. The stuff this far east, it kind of rusts from the top down. Hmm. But. This guy's too bad this going to get on Yeah, here. I know, and they did that with the machine when they were. Yeah. It was so muddy in here when they were trying to set up for the sale. I think they just. But you can see it already had a wrinkle in it, it wasn't pristine. It had a good tail on it. Yeah, that little wizard mower. Whammo, that didn't happen here. Yep. <laughs> but look at that curve in that quarter glass. It put a curl in it, but it didn't break it. This would have been a really cool car. It's got that radio delete and all the old. Yeah, the rear end of that Chrysler would have made a really nice. There's evidence, but there's not like complete. I'm gonna put that socket back on. Oh man. No? No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm looking at the data tag. Dude, this is like the, the cheapskate special. Pricing special order. Meaning it's super cheap though? I don't know. Some Mopar guy. Pricing special order, and these are the rest of it. That's cool. Somebody out there that's a devotee of Mopar will know. What the special order means? Special or order is just that they they built it a certain way on the line. Yeah. Uh, I have a short extension, but it's on my racket or my rattle gun. Oh. And I don't have a inch and a quarter. Not a great engine anyway. I mean, yeah, small block Mopars. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that in. Yeah. Look at the hinges. Yeah, that's Mopar. Mopar hood hinges. So we got the load back to the rust ranch. Joe's on his way with the loader. Gonna pick these two off. See the old station wagon here is pretty full of items. The guy was a bit of a hoarder. I'm sure there's some trash and some treasure and we aim to find out. So stick around, we're gonna unload and de-hoard the old wagon. Oklahoma car, 
So the lower body was really pretty decent. You can see just a bit of rust starting in that quarter. Subframe is actually really clean, but it's been sitting a while. You guys saw yesterday in the little will it turn we did there on the engine. Most definitely did not. She's seized pretty hard. And you can see, oh, got some rust there in the floor pans. Really overall for a car that's a half a century old, honestly, pretty decent shape for what it is. I, I, I think it's resting. We can stick a block under the tail of that trailer. Yeah, there's blocks in there. I... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it, I think it'll be all right. It isn't going to roll away. It'll find equilibrium. say that when they drive on like a muddy road that it keeps the rain and dirt off the back glass. Yeah. Some engineer somewhere convinced the manufacturer that it was... Well, there, I mean, if you look at a coupe, they don't have rear windshield wipers. But right. They often are cleft clean. Right. I mean, there's mud that's going to spit up around the back and hit here. For, it's got to be somehow with the airflow makes it dirty unless you do something with it. Yeah, I don't know. Did we ever get this open? I think it's electric. Oh, really? Generally, if it's a manual window, there's an outer crank. We could clean the detritus out and see if there's a switch on the dash for the back glass. Let's just see if it turns the window down. Oh, I... Oh, wait, no, it won't come, it won't open with it out of down, will it? I, well, yeah, I, I think some of them had an electric switch. I, I know what you mean. Oh, no, no, zags, zags down, yeah. They had an electric switch. Nope, nope, nope. It is Te this way? Teeth are up on a Mopar, yep. Yeah, there. Uh, that's that's all, all Mopars. Oh, that there you go. Oh, what? It's the ignition key. I guess. Hmm. Never want to turn brass keys too hard. Well, I guess we'll have to get in from the front. Ooh, National Enquirer. Fonzie's wedding picture and story. All right. How to become more charming. Nice. Paul Lindy, my drinking problem. What it's like being married to Suzanne Summers. Well, that's Billy Crystal. You ever hear a song on the radio and try and guess the year it was made? Just open up a random newspaper and guess the year it came out. 78. Eight. Oh, oh, there's a lot in here. Number one diet. So the ones that didn't blow out on the ride home. Ooh, they went oh. to color. 
All right. Between 78 and 80, they went to color. Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, of course. Who's that still? I think. Oh, the uh, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. Yep. Oswald is alive in Russia. Oh, he had them each individually bought packaged in the... Uh, Cool. Oh wow. Look at that. There's our first real actual. Ooh, 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 another cool one. Oh man. Wait, that's not Tootsie, is it? Tonka. That's Tonka. That's a cool Tonka. Wow. That's a cool one. That's Wait. pretty generic looking truck. It's the You are responsible for this. Now stuff like this I would save. Yeah. That's gotta. Daily Oklahoman. Carter marches ahead of the Gallup Parade, 1977. That's about all Carter was good for. Tell me we can throw this stuff away. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll look through and... These thick multi-section ones like this. If there's some car classified ads in there, I might... Trim them out for an art project. Someone, some, somebody somewhere is going to want... Around the water cooler. That's kind of kind of cool. Take that galvanized stuff to the flea market. Some sun decayed burlap. Some vintage curtains to go with our vintage reading material. And more vintage reading material. Sears catalog. A lot of this probably <laughs> Oh, I want this again. What is it? I IH? I really? Probably a cedar. Oh yeah, cedar top. Have the have the Joe pile. Got the vintage enamel. Oh, <laughs> I put those in. I know. The, I'm trying to sell it. You're trying to sell it? Yeah, I put those in there. So full disclosure, I was gonna try and trade with one of the antique shop guys, but he was not. There, so what I took you, him back home. You didn't put anything else in here, did you? No, I didn't. Look at this monster. I didn't seed any piston. items. Check out this piston. Oh, yeah. Surely a tractor or something? Yeah, there was a, I think, a cat dozer block they sold on the sale. Could have come. Ouch. Could have come out. Uh, Oh, we got a got a vintage can for the can collection hiding under the seat. We'll make a flea market booth and sell later for a dollar. Yep. We got the quick uh, classic darts comparison here. There you can. Review and make your decision. We're building suspense for the classic can lodged under the seat. Tractor parts, got a little fuel strainer, clutch. 
piece that's cracked in half for the scrap. Ooh, Whoa! You need to move those. Patina my signs there. Seriously, move. <laughs> <laughs> I just about did. Uh, I got the stuff wrapped around the journals. Yeah. Woo! Try to crank. I think what I'm going to do, like in the trunk of that 72 Impala, there was a whole bunch of tractor parts. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to make a pallet of those and some collector tractor auction put them on there and Somebody will want them. You, you know what these are here? Uh, oh, piano keys. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> Tickle the ivories. Oil bath air cleaner. All loaded up for the family vacation to the to the scrapyard. Scrapyard. <laughs> it looks like some a lot of the stuff was put in like we were gonna do something with it. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna pour apart the grill, black and black and grill. Surely someone will fix that. Ooh, got an old gauge cluster. Gauge cluster. What oh. is it, Tim? It's a Vera. Era. What year Ford? 61 through 5. But that's for you to probably be crap. Well, that's got 100 mile an hour. It's just not a. Good piece for Joe. That's a good piece for Joe. On the Joe pile. That's the uh, wiper motor. I think that's all Ford truck stuff. That dash harness. Oh, yeah. C4 TF 64. Right. Oh, you know what that's out of. And I didn't get any footage of it, but the, okay, so there was that pickup bed trailer oh, there's that, that I bought the gate, and the, the cab was pushed way over the hill. Pieces of a furnace, maybe. Yep. Oh, Another man. toy. Oh, cool. That's a Hubley. Hubley. That was actually a friction. If the camera will focus. Friction check. Man, <laughs> you know what they called those? Electric broom, I think. A vacuum? No, electric broom. Something. There was some catchy, catchy tag. Might as well throw in a piece of fire brick. Fire brick. Oh man, I'm digging this car all. I'm digging this car all vinyl upholstery, rubber floor mats. It's like fleet spec. Well, didn't we see under the hood? Yeah, special paint or something. Special order. Special order. Surely the paint's not special order. Metallic brown in the 70s was like <laughs> a third of total production. And the other two thirds was like avocado green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
old vintage soap dish. Liquid triox vegetation killer. Oh, there we go. Need any of that around here at the rust ranch. Oh, no. there's Slither. no poison ivy out here. Sure. None here. Oh, got the mid century hanging light fixture. Someone would want that. Yeah, that's probably got a little value to it. Flea market pile. Blower fan. Chunk of lead. Ah, sweet. Put that in the art pile. Just various random detritus. Metal bed rails, fan blade. This is probably out of that tractor. Yeah, that's Alice Orange, maybe Case Orange, possibly. Don't let us know in the comments. Where did I see this? This is off the grill. Oh yeah. Yep, we'll put that on the dash. It's one of the little. Probably for the other side, that's probably a spare. Little medallion. Got a little brass rail for the scrapyard. Good flea market. Woo! Flash the Tim and Joe cutting down a tree. Yep. Cutaway gag. Yeah, for post finishing. We actually used one of those two man saws when we put up the fence at the shop to cut the telephone poles down to it's, length. Uh, there's a bunch of rings for whatever motor they were trying to rebuild. International Harvester. Rings and O-rings. Yeah. And here's a big old wooden box full of Hey, there's the sticker chicken from of that. Chicken the sea. I remember my parents That's used to cool. chicken of the sea. Those, hey, keep those uh, washers. She got the little mermaid on there. Terminal Island, California. Another, another bit of nonsense. Shovel handle. I'm sure, I'm sure there's supposed to be an S there, but all it Sturd. says is turdy. Turd steel. Turd steel. Sturdy steel. Turd steel. I want those. Okay. Oh, these are good. These are half inch. And so I always keep a bunch of these around because occasionally you'll put a roller wheel on that needs to be spaced out further from a tie rod or spring or some obstruction. There's about Check. 50 for you and 50 for me on that wire. That oh yeah. Cute. I bet I know what this is. Do you know what this is? I do not. Don't don't tell. Okay. And then we'll see what they say. We'll the see what they say. I'm yep. sure I know what this is though. Oh. Get this window fixed water here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Irritating. I'm gonna just swap the whole door off the parts car. I don't want to put my mouth on that. Cut it. Cut it. 
cut it or give you a rare disease. Lamp stand. Lamp may or may not salt the flea market, you never know. Oh. Hey, you just tossed out a vintage uh, oh, is that like a crane thing? Crane. My first guess was it was a little canned ham camper, but then I saw the I think it's the, the crane. Yeah, it's the operators. Oh, yeah, operators station for a toy crane. Another piston. Oh, smokes, that's a oh hey. We got the camshaft. Well, then you'll like this, Tim. Oh man, there's, oh yeah, so this was a truck. This probably went up on the tower on the back of it. Lubri points. Lubri points. Those had a little vial of grease or something that supposedly. Not in that one. Made them less swear prone as they went down. Scott oh, that's Adams. cool. Good flea cool market piece. Is a word for it. Flea market piece. You could just slide that. Oh, what do we got? That. Oh man, that's going on the wall of shame. <laughs> I actually cut my hand on the Yeah. <laughs> Wall of shame straight up. Just slide that whole box. I think but that's I'm lightening it up so I can't. Yeah. I think that's the re the stuff for rebuilding. I I don't want to spread that everywhere because that's probably the stuff for rebuilding that engine. Are you gonna save it to rebuild it anyway? No, but I'm gonna put it all on a pallet and some tractor guy that oh. has taken two to make one. It's your smoke guard. Smoke guard. What? Is that off a thing? Pro. Is that off a tractor? It's actually pretty light for a tractor. You can actually, if you want to leave that in there, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just put the camera in and. Well, then I'm gonna leave all this. Out. Yeah. So we'll get this crap out of the front seat. That's the mystery can down there right. that you just picked up the little can. John Deere starting fluid. That'll go up on the wall of cans at the shop. Bed rails? Nope. Too thin for it. Too thin? You'll see it when I tell you. Oh yeah, I see toilet it. Yeah, toilet stall dividers. Hey, underneath of those is the actual sticker for that electric broom. The actual sticker for that electric broom is under those dividers. See it there? See, I told you. You doubted me. You doubted me. Well, I thought I'd known you were going to do that with a Oh, yeah, we should have just put it over to one. Well, we'll put it back in, yeah. Look at this vinyl seal. It's actually in pretty good shape still. Yeah. <laughs> and even, I mean, if you look at the driver's seat, yeah. this is the only damage, and it was created by something sitting on it in yeah. storage. Oh, yeah. So, Peter, Piano keys. What's the mileage on this thing? Oh, this is a, someone would want this. This is an old. Uh, zero seven. 107K. This is a little window sash with the window still in it. Okay. It's only got 7,000 miles on it. Yeah, 7,000 original. <laughs> All right. Oh. Snap into a 
flint. <laughs> I bet someone, someone would love that. I mean, look at that. It's still got the Yeah. Thing. I bet you mounted that. Yeah, you stuck that. Stuck somewhere. that on, and then you'd snap the cup in it. And then you could snap into a slim jig whenever you would like. That's good. Homecraft Deluxe Spray Gun. Underhanded marketing snap. <laughs> oh man, we got us another special can in there. Cool. And barrelhead root beer. I've never heard of barrelhead. Fairly modern look, but no barcode. And it's a deposit bottle. Oh, here's a, here's a air filter. filter. That was probably take a gap and used, but he saved it. Yeah. If it's anything like my dad. Yeah. Pop, that's you. Pop if you're watching. Yeah. Is, oh, this is a down. Insul oh, yeah. This is a down pillow. pillow. Okay. Yeah. Slide that whole top board off with all the keys in it. Keys? Piano keys. Oh. And then we can just take that whole Straight to, the to the burn pile, yeah. I don't have any upcoming art projects requiring piano keys. They're surely not ivory. And they're oh. surely not ivory. If they were, you would still be able to sell them. That's, uh, uh, Donny Osmond? No, Robin Williams. Oh, yeah, Robin Williams. Mork, <laughs> Mork and Mindy. Yeah. Shows you how pop culture illiterate of 40 years ago I am. Yeah. About what you expect, a little trash, a little treasure. Door shut nicely. Yeah. Open nicely too. I mean just yeah. oftentimes they're we'll all put some white lithium in there and what is, what is this guy? That is a brown recluse. That was, was one. brown recluse. Yep, nope. He's nope. still hiding there in the seal. Oh there we go. <laughs> Got him. That's dope. All right, what is it? You looked it up on your phone? It is a International 1066 injector pump gear. Cool. NOS? Yeah, it looks NOS. Yeah, it no, hasn't been used. Nowhere on the teeth. There's cool. nowhere on the teeth. Awesome. Little bit of treasure, little bit of trash. That's right. New bearings in it and everything. It makes sense if it was the old stock. What do we got? Oh man, random pieces. Oh, here's a bumper clamp. Bumper clamp? Old truck, just the regular half round bumpers. Yeah. Clamp them up and put them all there. Oh. You know that. It's upside down. Well, yeah, okay. No. Oh, is it? It, it would no? be this way. It'd be the, oh, okay, go underneath. Yeah. I guess it'd be like a drop you, hitch. And you can adjust this in and out to adjust the angle. Cool. Acme. I've sold Acme stuff yeah. before. Though, so Put yeah. that on the Joe pile. Yes, Old sir. Carburetor. What is it? Stromberg. Oh, man. Stromberg 97. 97. Whoa. Come on. It's probably the best piece in here. That would have been several hundred bucks, but they repro them now, but still. Don't disturb the grime on that. They like them. They like them juicy. <laughs> they like them juicy. Well, I'm just checking the mechanism. Everything's working. Yeah. Well, a good piece. I think I sold one at a swap meet for 150 bucks, maybe. Hmm. Lots of stuff for flea market people. Yeah. Fuel pump. Ooh. Sink trap. Oh man, we got us. Uh, here's the, here's some more wall of shame. Wall of shame, yeah. 
not too shameful, but shameful enough not to reinstall. I, I pulled this out earlier. You know what this is? I, I do not. I'm pretty sure they use it for weaning cow, uh, calves. It's all locked up, but you put it in their nostrils, and then they can't they can't nose the mom for for milk because she'll kick them away. Okay. Obviously, I'd kick someone away if they nosed me. If they walked up to you wearing that. Oh, we got a Chrysler. Ooh, Chrysler, ooh, Chrysler label. But it's not attached to anything. CR something. Lost to time. Bathtub leg, heater leg. Oh yeah, I need those for my boat actually. Oh, that's just an old-fashioned, uh, isn't it? Yeah, something to. Rat woman, rat to rat it, but. Got the honey pot. Honey pot. The honey pot. We'll just leave that in there. Now a van calls them honey pot. Yep. Yep. Not many cracks apart from here. Nope. More, more stuff to fill the fridge. The fridge. Oh yeah, show the fridge. Show the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> There's the fridge. The infamous fridge. The fridge was a crime of opportunity. Oh, this is cute. Dollar bid on an online auction. And as you would expect of General Motors' worst engine ever created, the Junk 305 is locked up from sitting. Wouldn't expect anything less from one of these. So no will it run. This particular engine probably be a will it scrap and be replaced by 350 or something actually good.